Hello, welcome to the Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. I wanted to give you a quick shot of this red bud here. The red bud blooms are starting to come out. Uh, we've been gone for two weeks. We went away on a cruise and uh, come back and everything's starting to bloom. So it's really nice. Uh, got a slight wind out of the north today, so it's kind of cool. It's about, I'd guess, 60 degrees. And uh, the last video I posted was this compost over here. And I turned it with my tractor and put a bag of nitrate on it. And I want to go check the temperature on that and uh, see what we got. Also, if I've got time, I'm going to work on this uh, raised bed garden and trying to get some of that outside bed finished today. Uh, when they say the red buds are blooming, it's time to put your honey supers on on your beehives. Uh, I still have about 10 hives. I have to rotate the tops and bottoms uh, before I can get the honey supers on. And I got to get my honey supers out of the barn and get the moth crystals off of them and get them airing out. So I'm going to work on that today too. So let's get started and go look at that compost pile. Use some close up to the trees and get a little bit better shot of those blooms. They're not quite opened up yet, but uh, all these trees out in here are red buds. And that whole line of trees down there on the west side, a lot of those in there are red buds. And there's some right there. And some of our fruit trees are starting to bud out. I'm not sure what this is. This one over here with the pink blooms. So, if we don't have a freeze, that might put on some fruit. This tree here doesn't have much going on on it. There's a few little buds at the ends of the limbs, but uh, nothing coming out yet. And this one over here, it's got quite a few blooms on it and some leaves coming out. Let's see, one right there, it's leafed out pretty good already. So that's kind of our orchard area right in here. So I got this cool thermometer. Shows uh, ambience about 60 degrees, and then it's got a, uh, it says warm, ideal, and hot. That's the yellow, green, red, or yellow, brown, red settings on there. So, I'm uh, going to stick this in there. I got this on Amazon. It's uh, 22 inches long, I think. It's, uh, it's the longest one they had. It's cooling off now. I had it set down by the ground and it was warm. So now it's below 60. It's about 58, looks like now. So I'm going to put it in there and see what we get. Like ambient temperature is about 56 degrees. Let's see if I can get a close up of this. So it looks like it's on just over 80 degrees. Here at the top, just lean it on it. I can feel it. It feels kind of warm. It's a lot warmer than the outside, but it doesn't look like it's putting off a whole lot of heat. We haven't had any rain in the two weeks since I watered it that first time, so that may be the problem. Let me try another location and see where if it's uh, warmer in other locations. in here on the other side. Does 
doesn't look like it's any different over here. About 80 degrees. One more spot, a little lower. Don't want to push too hard, I don't want to break it. All right, see what that does. And it's about 75, 70 there. So it's cooler down lower. So probably I'm guessing what I need to do is rake the top off a little bit and put some more water on it. So it's been two weeks. It may need some more nitrate. But uh, I'll water it in real good and check it again in a few more days and see if it's heated up anymore. It's still only 80 degrees, even when I dug down a little bit. It says ideal is around 110 to 130. it on the compost pile. Catch you on the next one.